Ever since the Greeks, people have been thinking about what is the universe made of? What are the irreducible fundamental particles that occur in the universe? And despite, you know, centuries of progress, uh, we still don't have the answers to all of these questions. The good old way of studying particles is to use huge Earth-based machines called accelerators. The particle accelerators that we have achieve very high energies, but what do you do if you want to go beyond those energies? Well, one option is to build bigger accelerators. Another way is to look at the universe and try to find a place where those high energies already exist. It turns out this is not a place where you can look to find these high energy particles. It's a time back when the universe was much smaller, hotter, and denser. So we invented a new way of doing simulations in the early universe with a computer program called BURST. The goal of BURST is to be able to calculate what the astronomers are seeing through their telescopes. The really big glass that's coming, these big telescopes that have openings of almost 100 feet in diameter, allow you to look at stars that are even further away than we have observed in the past. That added precision is going to allow us to get a better understanding of how nuclei interact with each other. BURST uses improved theoretical models and the world's largest supercomputers in order to track with unprecedented accuracy the evolution of what's happening with the particles in the early universe. You need to have very good nuclear reaction information. And of course, that's essential for the lab's national security mission, which is to maintain the nuclear stockpile. By using cosmology, you know, the observation of the universe at its largest scales, we're going to learn stuff about the subatomic realm. So at the same time that we're learning about the fundamental particles of the standard model, we may also learn about particles beyond the standard model that haven't even been observed yet, such as dark matter. It could be something more exotic, wimps, supersymmetric particles, I don't know.